Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Jesse. This is the Auditorium. I react to video game music for the first time as a musician myself. This is Near Replicant, The Wretched Automatons, requested by Espresso Depresso on Patreon. Well, I'm going to be playing this game for the first time in, uh, tomorrow, <laughs> and it'll be uh, right above my head at twitch.tv. Hey, Uncle Jesse, it's right up here. And uh, I can't wait. I played Automata. And I was really impressed, and now we're going to dive into Replicant. I'm a big fan of Keichi Okabe, and the music for Replicant is kind of interesting so far. Different, but still very near sounding. Anyways, the wretched automatons. Let's go. Very mechanical. Percussion made out of mechanical noises. Hey. Oh. I hear those strings coming. Where is this song gonna go? <laughs> Near music is amazing, dude. How do you come up with this stuff? I believe that's Emmy. <laughs> we got the cool percussion that I'm used to and this new percussion. Voice, dude. One of the most relaxing voices I've ever heard. Experimental and cool. That vocal electronic part has not stopped the entire song. Just traversing my ears. I wonder if the percussion is going to kick back in here.
This is awesome. <laughs> When I beat Automata, I was told by a lot of people, like, well, you have to play Replicant now. But not only that, is a lot of people unanimously say that they prefer the soundtrack to Replicant and Gestalt to Automata. Which I thought was preposterous, because I'm like, how do you beat greatness? Automata is fantastic. One of the best soundtracks I've ever heard. But I'm kind of starting to see why they would think that it's it's coming full circle now and what i've noticed in the few songs that i've heard in replicant is well i'll say the the opposite in, in automata there seems to be like a central theme to the songs they all sound like they belong together and they're all joined together with these sounds and stuff. Replicant, so far, to me sounds still the near formula, but they did more experimentation with it. For example, machine-like percussion. There's more unique little tidbits in Replicant so far. So I can't even imagine the whole soundtrack. So from what I'm hearing, the soundtrack is preferred, of course this is subjective, opinions but for the, for the most part i'm pretty sure people re prefer replicant music but prefer automata's gameplay <laughs> so i think if you just combine them both you'd have like the perfect game but i don't know man automata has a huge soundtrack and that's no easy feat to to beat now i'm going to treat him at his at his own thing when i do play it but i'm going to be forced to compare because it's the same composer the same world but I can see how Replicant is... I'm just saying, I, I, I see. I see the potential. Because this stuff is unique, man. This stuff is kind of... Bizarre. Uh, first things first, the mechanical sort of... Percussion that was driving the whole song. I haven't heard anything like that in any... Pretty much any game, I think. And then, of course, in Nier especially. So that made me think of something really quick is uh, I'm not going to dive into the story too much because I don't know the story. I only know Automata's story. But I know in Automata the machines are definitely a thing. I don't know if there's machines in Replicant. I don't know if they carried over. I don't know if it's always going to be a thing. But this either references machines again or this is the scenery of like a factory similar to the factory in Automata. I kept thinking of, you know, moving parts, stuff, like a factory basically a factory level stage world etc a lot of gears turning a lot of oh well, i'm just gonna keep saying mechanical and then we have the electronic kind of like vocoder section that was going throughout the entire song which also stands out as far as near goes i think the closest thing i can think to that would be the atom fight in automata and i want to point out that when i do these reactions 90% of the time I have like no context, no nothing, don't know anything, but this time is different. I, I did play Automata, I did beat Automata, and I know that game pretty well now. So now I can compare it to other stuff that it reminds me of, and for example like the Adam fight when you first encounter the uh, the alien ships and you know it's got that. And then again the same song plays in the uh, the underground city. So it, this is like the closest that, that kind of reminded me of, that like, kind of electronic sort of EDM sound. Super experimental soundtrack. So I can't, I can't tell you if this is. Uh, it doesn't. It didn't feel like a boss theme. It could have been a world theme. I'm not sure. It's, it's hard to tell with near sometimes. But um, this vocalist, you know, I can't say enough good things about about her. She's. She sounds so, in not a romantic way, but like a musical. She sounds so dreamy. Like I could just kind of like I float away when I hear her. It's I, I don't I don't even know what that technique is called because no one does it. I I figured 
it would hurt your throat to sing like that. Because when you sing, you're using your diaphragm, right? And you're kind of exaggerating a speech. And then when you talk, you're just talking. And then when you whisper, you kind of bring it down. But, you know, what I'm saying, like, she finds this kind of weird spot and then turns it into, like, melodic notes and stays there. I guess, I don't know if you would consider that raspiness. I don't know. But it's unique as hell. That's all I'm getting at. It's a very unique sound, and I love everything she sings over. She sounds amazing by herself. She sounds amazing with whatever instruments underneath. She's great. And I don't know, but I know in, in Automata there's at least three singers, for sure. And in this one so far, I think I've only heard Emmy. I don't know if the other ones are present, as far as like solo pieces. So that's something else to like look out for. At least the songs I've heard, I'm pretty sure it's just been one singer. I don't know, it's been a while. I, I listen to a lot of songs every day, all day. So I can't possibly rem remember everything. But I'm pretty sure so far it's just been Emmy. And I'm hoping getting that name right. I, I don't know. I'm Hopefully I'm not confusing it with another of the singers. But, you know, the one that sounds like this. I'll just say that. Anyways, crazy soundtrack. The Wretched Automatons. Maybe a swarm of enemies. Maybe a swarm of machines again. I don't know. I never thought about that. I, I don't know what I'm getting myself into when I start playing this game. I don't know what the, uh, the story is going to be. I don't know if there's machines again. Anyway, I don't want to think too much. I'm going to play it soon. I'm just going to look forward to it. Thank you, Espresso Depresso, for that. If you want to make a request too, you could do so on Patreon. Or PayPal, either are totally fine, and those are guaranteed ways I will check out your song if you do not mind waiting in a very, very long backlog. Unfortunately, I have a lot of requests, and I'm only one person. If you do not want to wait, there is the Platinum Trophy tier on Patreon, which expedites your request to the very top. A big thank you to Aiden, Justin, Kevin, Mushimeri, the BRM, your average metalhead, and DJ Singletone for being a part of that. Thanks to you for watching. Thanks to the Near fans for introducing me to this game. Thanks to Kaichi Okabe. And I will see you right here when I start playing it. Till next time, everyone. Take it easy.